All right, next video here, we're going to show you how to set up your email. And this is any email you want, but to have it um, filtered into Gmail. And then you're actually going to use Gmail as your email account, but it's going to be acting as your other email account. So you'll still be branding your email address. You will not be branding any of Gmail's at, um, emails. You'll still be doing the goal of what you want with your email to brand yourself. But you're going to be able to use the full power of Gmail and the ability to use, for a lot of you that use Outlook, the ability to use their outgoing mail server and ingoing mail server so you can send and receive email from anywhere, any location, any internet connection that you're on, you'll be able to use it instead of having to change your outgoing mail server. So what you'll do is just go to gmail.com once you've created your account, if you need to create one, just create it, it's, it is free. Once you've created it, just log in and I'm going to log into my account here and I'm going to do the steps to setting up my KW email within Gmail so I can use Gmail as my account because it's just it's so universal for all the apps out there and all the um, calendars and everything we want to have our one-stop shopping for our email so we're going to set it up within Gmail so what we'll do just go up to settings and then you're going to go to accounts and imports and then the first thing you're going to do is we're going to um, set up this section where it says send mail as, we don't want to send it as my Gmail account. We want to send it as me from KW. So what we'll do is we'll go into here and we'll go send mail as another address. Click on that. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my name in here. And then my email address that I'm going to have, have it send as. And that's going to be Kelvin Mergen at KW. Then hit next. And I'm going to leave the Gmail server here. This is the reason why we're doing this is so if we ever do use Outlook or another program out there like that that is a desktop pro program we can use the Gmail servers which are universal they'll work on any internet connection where if you're not using an outgoing mail server that is provided through your email then you're gonna be stuck using your internet connection outgoing mail server and you'll be changing it every time you um, relocate with your um, uh, laptop so we'll use this hit next stop next step and then send the verification so it's gonna send me a verification actually verifying that this is a legit email address so it's gonna send it so I'm gonna simply go and retrieve that through my KW email system so I'm gonna log into the KW email and lo and behold there is my Gmail uh, verification and it sends the code I'm just gonna double click and then select that right click and then copy it that way I don't mistype it and I will go into here and then right click and paste it and just say verify and instantly it is now in there and I'm gonna make that my default email the other thing you have down here is always reply from your default email which is now my Calvin Morgan at KW or you could also if you have multiple email addresses in here you could have it reply from whatever email address they sent it to you so if somebody actually sent me an email address to my MCA Rochester at Gmail and I hit reply it would reply from that email address so but I'm strictly wanting to use this as my 100% Calvin Morgan at KW email nobody's ever gonna even have this email address so I'm just gonna leave it at Calvin Morgan at KW the next thing and great thing about Gmail is it can act so um, if you're just setting this up and you have a bunch of email already in your KW email account you can pull all that email into this account um, by acting as a POP3. So what you'll do is go down to add POP3. So simply click on that and just type in the email address you want it to go out and pull from. And that's Calvin Morgan at KW. And Gmail, again, so powerful, automatically goes out there and finds out the POP3 mail server. It knows the incoming mail server. And then I'm going to put my password to my email account in here. And my username is going to be without my at. It's just the, the stuff before the at on my email address. I'm going to tell it to leave a copy of the retrieved mail on the KW server. That way, if for some reason I would ever want to use my the KW strict um, use that email address, it would still be on there. And then what I'm going to do is all that email that it's pulling in, I want it to label it so I know it was pulled from the other account and then all the new email that will come in will not be labeled. But all the email it's going to pull in right now, I want it to label it. I'll just simply click Add Account. So now what is going out there is checking the email right now. And I've got probably 400 um, pieces of email in there. But now if I go to my inbox, I'm just going to refresh. Slowly it's going to be pulling it in here. It takes about 10 minutes to pull all of that email in. And as I hit refresh, just give it a second. It's telling me already how much it's going to be 
using. And the other great thing about this is I've got 748 um, megabytes of usable space, which is huge. So if um, you're worried about size and pictures and stuff coming into your email address, you won't have to worry about it if you're using the Gmail account. You can store a ton of information in here. So slowly here comes some of this information. If I slowly click, uh, click refresh, and I won't make you sit through all this. But this way, if you don't want to forward your email from your other um, email address, you can just have Gmail go out and grab it. And basically, it's, it'll go out and grab it every um, five minutes. It'll, it'll go out and grab all that email. So if I would sit down here long enough, you would see all of my email filter in here. And um, I'm not going to make you sit through that. But that is how you pull all of your email from your inbox from your previous email address into here and then you'll be able to start using this. So now if I go to compose email it says from Calvin Morgan at KW. I would type it to whoever and what's great is I've got the other um, training videos out there on how to set up your calendar. You've got that built right in here which um, is all color coded. You've got all of your appointments, all of your clients appointments, your family time, your work stuff, your lead generation any office training, all that stuff links right in here for you. And again, this stuff will link with any phone. Google is probably the most powerful um, website out there for linking and apps for any phone, so you'll be able to utilize all those tools. So let's just go back to the Gmail account here real quick and see if anything is coming into my inbox. And slowly. And this is what I'm saying about labeling it. Um, let me just do that again here once this loads in just a second. It's going to label all that email that it pulls in here, kelvinmergen at kw.com is how it's going to do that. So since I've got a large file pulling in, again, it will take a little while. But that is how you set up your email. Again, you do have the option of um, forwarding all of your email address to Gmail if you'd like, but I think it's just easier to go out and have it pull all that email. So that way all of your email will be in here and you're 100% um, set and again check out the other videos on how to utilize Gmail and um, show you all the uh, tools and tips on Gmail